No, I'm not drinking Pepsi. This is a Pepsi cup, but there's no Pepsi in it. I'm drinking raspberry tea. The reason why it's inside of a Pepsi cup is because I go to Towson University and Towson is a Pepsi campus. I mean, I drink Pepsi from time to time, but it's always mixed with like fruit punch. But I don't like Pepsi on its own. Everybody knows I'm crazy about Coca-Cola. Hey guys, it's your girl Golden Jolene, and today's video is pretty exciting. Well, for me at least. So everybody and they mama has been talking about the Too Faced and Kat Von D better together eyeshadow palette. So Too Faced and Kat Von D teamed up for this collab and they made their own eyeshadow palette together and they threw in some other stuff into the collection. This eyeshadow palette came out, I'm pretty sure it was the 26th of December of 2016. It's available on the Sephora website, the Too Faced website, the Kat Von D website, and it's also available inside Sephora stores. So this palette comes not only with an eyeshadow palette, but it comes with a full size Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner and a full size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Altogether, these three items cost $53. I know that's pretty pricey, but since it comes with a full-size Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and a full-size Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner, I didn't mind paying $53. I know this cost $20. I'm not sure how much this costs, but I'm assuming it's $20 or probably more. So right here, that's $40, approximately. And that would make this $13. So I think that's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. There's a note that comes with the palette inside the box, and I would read it, but it's all in French, and I don't want people to get upset because I'm translating it wrong. This is what the palette looks like. I think the packaging is really cute. This is very Too Faced, if you know what I mean. The palette itself is pink, like, as you can see, it's pink, and it has some beautiful roses and some really cute birds on here. The Kat Von D side is very Kat Von D, as you can see. It's like gothic, tattoo themed. It has these beautiful roses too, and they're just, I just love the packaging, is what I'm trying to say. So the back also has some notes on it, and luckily <laughs> they're in English and in French. So the Kat Von D side says, hello darlings, it is, an ap it is my absolute privilege and honor to share with you the special collaboration Jared and I created for you. Get ready to fall deeply, madly in love. XO Kat Von D. And the Too Faced side says, Hey dolls, I'm beyond thrilled to share this labor of love between Kat and me in hopes that it inspires you to spread the light of love and banish the darkness of hate, bullying, negativity, and prejudice while looking absolutely fabulous. XO Jared, aww. They're so sweet. When I first saw this palette, I thought it was going to open differently. I thought it was going to open like this way, like come up, but it doesn't. The way it opens is this way. Each side has their own, you know, flap, if you want to call it a flap. But um, yeah, that's how these open. And this is also magnetic. You can separate this. And it's not like a weak magnet because I could do this and like it won't fall off. I'm not going to lie. This is not my favorite palette. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate it. I think the colors are beautiful. And I, I just, I love the packaging. I love the idea of it. I love how hard they worked on it. But it is not my favorite. So my first problem with the palette is, I mean, I love the designs of the packaging, but I don't like this from the packaging. I feel like this could have been, oh. So the French translation is here in English. I just realized where the English translation of this is and it's inside of the flaps of the packaging. But anyway, I don't like the fact that it opens like this because I feel like if it would have opened, like, you know, up, it could have had space for a mirror and they could have made the font from the messages a bit smaller just so a mirror and the messages could have fit. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know it's all a personal preference. I just wish that there could have been a mirror in here. Another problem that it could have because of the packaging is you could like leave this sitting and this could like slowly just, you know, close on its own. It could be a hassle just this opening and closing over and over. Also, if you're using colors from both sides, it can be like just a tad bit tedious, like opening this and then having to open the other one and like, you know, go back and forth. Another problem I have with it is I just think it's kind of bulky. I like the idea of it being a heart, but there's all this space. Like you could have added 
girl. Okay, so my roommate came back. But yeah, she's behind the camera now. Hello. But anyway, as I was saying, I feel like the packaging is bulky. I feel like this logo is very unnecessary. They could have fit at least two more shadows in this packaging, especially if they laid the shadows differently, like this way, as opposed to, you know, that way, if you know what I mean. Yeah, on the other side, it's the same. If they would have just avoided this Too Faced logo, they could have fit at least two more hearts in here. And it could have been a 16 eyeshadow palette instead of 12. I also feel like there's no transition shades in here. The only one I use as a transition is the gray, but that's really dark. So I need to like tap it very lightly. And then this side, I mean, I guess you could use the brown as a transition shade, but there's so much glitter in it. And that's everything negative I had to say about this palette. Now I'm just gonna continue with the demo. I pre-recorded this a long time ago. By the way, I'm not wearing any of these products on my eyes. I'm so sorry, I probably should have, but I didn't think before I made this video. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I have the demo. So we're just gonna cut to that. So I'm going to show you how I created this dramatic reddish gray smoky eye. And I start by building up the color yours into the crease little by little. Next, I place the color soon all over the lid. I love this shade. It is so pigmented and buttery and it's not at all patchy. It applied beautifully on the lid. Next, I just go back in with the color yours to blend out soon a little bit more. I use this matte white color called Por Vida to highlight my brow bone and to further blend the color yours. Next, I just took a fluffy brush and further blended out the crease. Honestly, this look requires a lot of patience because you really need to do a lot of blending. So I wanted to darken up the outer V, so I added some of the color Devotion, which is just the matte black on the outer part of my eye. All of the blending kind of got rid of the dramatic red on my eyes, so I just added a little bit more of Swoon to make the red stand out more. And then, of course, I went back in with my fluffy brush to blend that out. I used this gorgeous rose gold color called Love Struck to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And to create a slight halo eye, I use the color Friendspiration sparingly on the center of my lids. Next, I apply some of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper to create a wing. I love this eyeliner, it is so black and pigmented. I also applied some black pencil liner by Makeup Forever to my waterline and I blended that out with the spoon color so the black does not look as harsh and just to make it look a bit more smoky.
Lastly, I just applied the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And that is the finished look, and I love it. Okay guys, that's my review on this collection with Too Faced and Kat Von D. I don't hate it, but I don't think it's like, you know, 100% amazing. It could have been better, but it's not bad, is my point. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!